I'm going to demonstrate arrays. Arrays are collections of things. I don't need to tell you that this is the program skeleton and things are there by default. This class is called Arrays Demo. That's the name of my program. Now, arrays, like I was saying, are collections of things. And they are declared like this. For example, an array of numbers will be an int um, my set or my grades for uh, my sure my let's do a double my grades okay and then you say new double and how big is this going to be how big is the array say my grades I'm going to have uh, five grades okay and you have to put double like this as well. This is how you declare an array. And we can put grades there. We can say my grades sub zero. This is creating here space for five doubles consecutively. The numbers, the first grade, the first double, it's referred to as double number zero. Okay, so my grades sub zero is going to be uh, 3.4 my grades sub 1, it's going to be uh, 4.0. My grades sub 2 is going to be 2.4, and so on and so forth. Sub 3, it's going to be uh, 3.5, and my grades 4 is going to be 4.6. No, no 4.6, another 4.0. All right, I have five elements, zero, one, two, three, four. I cannot have more elements. This will, uh, will compile this. Let's compile this. If I put another element, my grades five equals 3.4 again, for example, and I try to compile it, well, it'll compile, but when I run it, I get this Java Lang Array Index Out of Bounds exception five. That five is telling me that I try to insert a fifth element in something that could not contain five elements, could not contain six elements, right? Because because you start from zero, if you insert a fifth element, that means that you have six elements already. Okay, so this Java Lang array index out of bounds exception is very common when you work with arrays. What it means is you're trying to put one too many elements in an array. Okay, so we're gonna take this out. Now, what I can do, for example, to get an average of this would be to say uh, double average equals my grades sub zero plus my grades sub one plus my grades sub two plus my grades sub three plus my grades sub four plus my grades, oh, that's it, so my grades of four, and then I will update this average, right? So that's the average. That actually is the sum of my grades, right? And then the average is just double average is going to be the sum divided by uh, five because it's five grades, right? 5.0. So then what we do is system.out.println average. If we run this, the average, you know, you can do this in your calculators, 3.4, 4.0, 2.4, 3.5, 4.0. If we run this average, it's a 3.46. Okay, so we have declared an array, we have used the array, and we, uh, we have put elements in the array and we have used it, okay? Now, very quickly, we'll turn this into a program using our for loops and our while, uh, our for loops and then our printouts and everything, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a for loop. To do this, because we do this repeatedly, right? We entered five elements and then we enter however many elements so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the user 
um, enter his or her grades, and I will um, and I will put them here, right? So for i uh, int i equals zero, i is less than uh, five because it's five elements. It's less than five because it's going to go zero to four. Remember, then plus plus. What I am going to do in this for loop is I'm going. Oh, I'm going to declare the scanner. By the way, I forget about that. Scanner keyboard equals new scanner system dot in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan um, scanner system in. What I'm going to do is to scan a double in each of my grades. So my grades sub i, it'll be my grade 0 at the beginning, my grades 1 at the beginning, and so on and so forth, are going to be equals to my keyboard dot next double, okay? For reasons that you probably know by now, if you use the scanner, one can do this kbd next line just to be safe, okay? And then these are going to be my grades, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm also going to print at every system dot out dot print line uh, grade i is equals to my grades sub i just so you know that I can use the element the, the array okay now I'm going to compute the sum of these elements so for int j equals 0, j is less than, well, if j is less than 5, the increment j to actually compute the sum of these things. So I'm going to create here a double. So let's think, which variables do I need? Double my grades, double sum, and double average, right? So for between 0 and 5, for, so 5 times I'm going to do sum e plus equals, so I'm adding, right, plus equals my grades sub j. So initially sum will be 0, and then here what I'm doing is add to sum my grades sub 0, sub 1, sub 3, sub 4, okay, because this is what it's saying, j is going to vary from 0 to 4, okay? And then what I'm going to do is say my average is equal to sum divided by, in this case, 5, okay? Arrays are cool because they can report their own length, so I could actually say instead of 5, I could actually say my grades dot length, okay? Which is the length of the array. I could put arrays dot length in any of these things. Okay, so I'm just going to put it here for example, for an example, my grades dot length. Okay, and this is AVG. All right, so the program will declare an array of grades, sum, and average. It will uh, ask me for my grades, then it will sum my grades, it will compute the average, and print it. So let's compile it and run it. So the first grade is going to be a 4.0. The second grade is going to be a 3.6. The, fir the first, the, the third grade is going to be another 4.0. Uh, the third grade, which is grade two, is going to be uh, 3.6 again. And then the third grade is going to be a 3.7. And the average should be just around 3.7, or 3.8 or something. Okay. The average then is 3.78. Okay, that concludes our arrays demo with uh, with for loops included. You can have arrays also of strings, so you could loop through words and whatnot. Okay, just try that.